This FOC project started at the end of 2006 and it's been for these uh, four years with the help of this very enthusiastic team that we've managed to become a reference in the CPV world. We've managed to connect more than one and a half megawatts to the grid and there's still some projects ongoing. The building completed and we are equipping our facilities for testing and laboratories and we are already providing very valuable information on the performance of the systems and materials and uh, I'm sure that we will provide in the future very valuable information as, as well on the long-term endurance and performance of the technology. So I'm here on top of ISFOC administration and laboratories building and just here to show you our facilities and especially to show you our 800 kilowatt uh, demo plan uh, with uh, three different technologies uh, with a total of about uh, 100 uh, different trackers. Uh, you see how small they look from here, just let's take a look and a walk uh, down the side and you'll get a, a real dimension of uh, the trackers. Here we are at the ground of our 800 kilowatts demo plan. We're right in front of a Isophoton a tracker, Isophoton is a Spanish company. We do have two other different technologies in these power plants, sole focus from the US and concentrics from Germany. The approach for these technologies in terms of design of the optics, design of the trackers, design of the power plants and assembly of the technology is uh, quite different but in these almost two years since the connection to the grid they are showing an excellent performance. So on this 800 kilowatt power plant we do not only produce electricity and, and, and fit it into the grid, we also carry out a number of R&D projects and activities around the different systems. We do develop procedures and tools for rating and evaluating the different systems and technologies and we do also a careful evaluation of the solar resource for correlation of uh, the production of the different systems with the availability of this solar resource on the site. But we will have Francisca Rubio, our R&D director, describe in more detail about the activities that are being carried out. The CPV is mostly uh, sensitive to the direct radiation and we would like to perform the, the monitoring of all the solar resources of the site. With this perilometer we can measure the direct radiation, with these isotypes we measure the influence of the spectrum and also together with the wind and thermal sensor we can know the influence of the meteorological data in the production. With all this data together we can analyze it and to do a model of prediction of production. One of the main objectives of ISFOC is to, to develop power rating of the concentrators. We are developing one procedure for the measurement. First, we measure the direct radiation and at the same time we measure the temperature and the power of the system. If we analyze all this data together, we can calculate the real performance of the system. So this is our outdoor lab and uh, we do have also some activities running in our indoor labs. So let's go in and, and see what type of activities are running in there. In the environmental ISFOC laboratory, we can perform all the tests of the IEC 62108. We have a small climatic chamber where we can test small modules, but we have also a big chamber to test big modules. We have different values of temperature and humidity to check the reliability of the modules. So we can really test if the modules are going to survive during the life of the field and the plant installations. In the ultraviolet chamber, we can test the materials and the modules degradation. We can check the resistance for the ultraviolet light. And with the hail impact test, we can check if the modules is going to resist the impact of a hail to really check the reliability of the module on the field during the time. The indoor solar simulator is a dark room. We have a very high intensity bulb. It's a xenon bulb which gives the flash to the parabolic mirror and the parabolic mirror reflects the parallel rays with a collimated light to the module. So we can measure the real power of the module inside. Here we are in the control room of ISFOC. Even if the photovoltaic doesn't need very complicated monitoring system, we need to follow the performance of the different installation. 
Here we can see the different installation performance. We can see the trackers, the inverters, and even the energy meters. We can see also if there is any failure or any alarm, if there is a problem in the plant, and so we can solve it immediately. And here we can also monitor the meteorological conditions. Here we have also a, a special monitoring for Concentris plant and the security camera. And here we have one of our main projects, the GoCPV project, program, where we can analyze all the data. We put all the data together and we can compare the behavior of the inverters, the energy meters, meteorological conditions, and we can develop a model of pred prediction of production together with the meteorological condition at the production of the plant. We can even monitor other plants outside Puerto Llano, for example, this one in Almoguera in Guadalajara. With all this monitoring, we can control everything, and our objective is to have a very reliable model of prediction of production in any location in the world. So this concludes our uh, visit to ISFOC facilities. ISFOC team, together with our technology partners, Isofoton, Concentrix, Soul Focus, Soul 3G, Avengoa, Encor, Arima, and Renovalia, we have together demonstrated that CPV is capable of meeting future demands for price, performance, and grid integration. Our field experience is accompanying the growth of this technology within this sector. I'd like to thank you all for taking this tour with us and would like to invite you to come and visit us in Puerto Llano to discuss the future of concentration photovoltaics. Thank you.